Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Replay Sonic Adventure DX. Last time we went through Gamma's story, and now it's finally time to finish this game. So let's go and play as Super Sonic, because yeah, we had to have a question mark because we totally don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, but yeah, final story is very cutscene heavy. There's no, there aren't any final stage stages or anything. It's just a bunch of cutscenes until the perfect chaos fight. And no, that isn't spoilers because it's in the opening. And you have to have this again. <sighs> but yeah, there aren't a lot to say. There, are, there isn't a lot for me to say about these cutscenes. Well, there is one thing here. Now, what, what when he says that, it's, he's either referring to what he does in SA2, like, um, releasing Shadow and all that, or he could be referring to something that happens later on here. Where, or well, spoilers, but he gets like an egg carrier too, and like, oh, this was d created in case you defied your master, stupid beast. Um, like, maybe he planned to use the egg carrier too and just went all crazy shooing Sonic and friends with her. I don't know. Honestly, it's never really explained why Angel Island falls again. Like, it just kind of happens. How does he even... How did he even get here? Like... <laughs> like, Chaos... Attacked him so hard he went flying all the way to Angel Island. Yay, I can move without moving. Hey, no way! Who blew it this time? Oh, I don't know, but we better hurry! Alright, now I get to play as Sonic again. Now, you can actually go back and play his stages if you just go to the, the areas and all that, but there's really no point. Basically, you just go to the specific areas and then cutscenes will play again it's like you get to play a little bit in the hub worlds but yeah it's nothing it's just to get to the next cutscene really if we just go to where knuckles and eggman are more cutscenes yay to be fair though the cutscenes are probably the best the best in final story because stuff is actually going on stole my chaos emeralds and chaos is still alive what ah, he's not gonna get away with this hey eggman wait up sonic chaos is a fearsome beast if he gets that last chaos emerald we're done for no need to explain we'll get on it Tails? Right. Alright. <laughs> oh, jeez. This place. It looks familiar. It's not a dream after all. 
And now we get to see the full, uh, story, well, everything for this part of the past. But yeah. All the same characters attack. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, what the hell? Controller, please. What is going on? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> oh. No, go down here. Hey, are you alright? Uh, I think so. Wake up! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was on a snooze cruise, I guess. <laughs> Good thing you're okay. <laughs> you just sort of conked out there. Knuckles left already. Come! We gotta go after the last emerald. Uh, lead the way. It should still be on board the tornado, too. Yay! Okay. <laughs> But yeah, it's like, it's not specifically shown, but basically what was going on there is that Chaos turned into Perfect was, uh, I'm assuming he just turned into Perfect Chaos and he m basically just massacred the entire Echidna race, pretty much, and Takal basically still ended up sealing him and I guess by extension herself into the Master Emerald, and then it makes sense. Like, Chaos basically, I guess, just broke free of the Master Emerald at the start of Knuckles' yeah, story, and the then you, that's too. why you saw Takal's little yeah. energy so ball thing fly away. What? Psych! No! He's got the last emerald! Now what do we do? Cry and weep. Hi, opening. No, it's literally the same stuff as the opening. There's nothing different about this CG.
I guess it is pretty good CG for the time. It's nothing uh, crazy, but it's good overall. Like, especially for like what the time this game came out. And somehow no one died. Like, I will never understand that. How how can no one die from the from all these casualties? Like, where can you find somewhere safe? Oh man. Now, I know you're expecting me to harp on Chaos's design here, but I honestly don't care too much, like, I, I get it, like, they wanted Perfect Chaos to look like how he does in uh, Generations, like, that was their original idea for what they wanted Chaos, Perfect Chaos to look like, but I, I understand, like, hardware lim limitations with the Dreamcast and GameCube and all that, they couldn't exactly do that for the time, so I honestly don't mind. Like, he doesn't look, honestly, he doesn't look that good, uh, on a, to be honest, like, I get that, but I, underst I understand that it's, like, the probably the best they could do for the time. So I can't really, I can't really complain about it, about it, really. And again, it's the first 3D Sonic game, so you got to cut it some slack. Yeah, as I said. There you go. Now he's filled with anger and sadness. And if it goes on, he'll eventually destroy the world like he did sniff, before. Sniff, sniff, sniff. Mmm, lovely humans. Me eat. There's Gamma, technically speaking. Hey guys, what's up? Chaos only used the negative power of the emeralds. Sonic, you should be able to harness their real power. As much as I hate to admit it, I think Tails is right about this. And yeah, and before people go on about how um, unleashed retcons this whole idea where, like, oh, the negative power is drained, but why can't he use the positive energy? And yeah, here's the thing with that. It's with unleashed, Eggman was draining in the entirety of the Emerald's power. It wasn't a specific portion of it. Like, he had to. U he was using all of the Emerald's energy in order to split the planet into pieces. Like. That's why you, they couldn't just use a positive energy or anything like that. I mean, they don't actively say it, but 
yeah, he's draining the entirety of the Emerald's power. It's not... With, Ka with Perfect Chaos, he's... Well, he's, like, using anger and all that. So, yeah, he's going to actively be draining the negative energy and all that. But, again, with uh, Unleashed, he's using all the Emerald's power. Well, Eggman is. So, yeah, I just want to clear that up. Because uh, some people I, I've seen uh, kind of get that a little bit confused. But either way, though... This is easily the more the most fun boss to find in the game, but like it's not exactly hard or anything like that, but the music's awesome, well for this part anyway, and it's not that hard, but it's fun to just really like boost into him, and I don't know, it's just fun to fight, this, to face this guy, and just being able to play a Super Sonic, you can't spin dash or anything, you can only move, you can only like, just boost into him really, you just move forward, but even with that in mind, it's still a fun boss fight, and the music, yeah, just open your heart, man, stars and we won't change, yours is filled with evil and monster, there is no way I can lose, yeah, yeah, <laughs> let go, yeah, but one thing I will say that I don't care for is when you get once you get rid of one health bar with perfect chaos, the second phase has this really like more menacing theme, and I would be more fine with this if this happened if this theme played during the first phase, like well, that I, I don't know, man. But I. I the theme is fine, like, it's a decent theme, but I feel like it should have played before Open Your Heart, really. But yeah, some of his attacks changed a little bit, like, well, he does more, he do, he tries to attack you more when you go near him, like, tornadoes are more frequent, he does the laser attack, and the little missiles he shoots at you actually um, target you, like, actively target you now. And uh, a little bit more annoying to avoid, so you have to be careful. But yeah, it's not too bad. Right. And now one more hit. Yeah, it's a really easy boss fight, so... But again, it's fun to face this guy. I like how, I like how you always just randomly start by falling for no reason. Alright. I should have enough speed. Okay, no, I, I'm definitely not. I'm definitely gonna have to do another section. Oh, come on. What is going on? Yeah. Okay. No, 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 no. Come and get rings. Alright, that should be good enough. Just go. Get him. Yes! You're done. And that's it. We've won the game. has changed again, this time for the better. Yeah! Supersonic must have neutralized it, so it's nice again. These are the Chao you were protecting. They 
they stayed alive for generations and now live peacefully with humans. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take you with me. We're both going to the heavens. That's what I'm assuming this is. I'm assuming they're just going to the afterlife or something. Like, I don't know, man. That's what would make the most sense. Eggman just silently watches and goes away. <laughs> Hi, Big. All's well that ends well, right? Insert FDA line here. <sighs> Alright, so now that we're finished with Sonic Adventure, here's where I guess I do my final thoughts. So, again, I still really like this game, like, it's the... Well, it's not the first Sonic game I played, obviously, like, I played this game a lot later, but I still really enjoy it, like, the first, well... I can't really say about, like, what I thought about it when I first played it, because it's been years. But I remember really enjoying it then. As for now though, there are a lot of flaws with it, obviously. Like, the voice acting really hasn't aged too well. The cutscenes most of the time aren't that fun to watch. Um, the gameplay to cutscene ratio is, like, or cutscene to gameplay ratio is a lot higher than it should have been. Like, sometimes you just go and you watch cutscenes way too much and it takes uh, a bit too long to uh, for it to go to gameplay sometimes, but in terms of like the actual gameplay, overall I think they did a pretty good job. Like I enjoy playing as Sonic. Again, I think it was a good transition from 2D to 3D. Um, like he controls. I like I think he should like Sonic should in a 3D environment. Like it's not perfect. Like Sonic kind of shifts to the sides a little bit when you're going down a like a linear pathway and all that but I think it I think it's overall a decent first attempt um, it's definitely a little bit glitchy with like the spin dash and all that you can just abuse it to your heart's content and it kind of can you can easily break the game with it but yeah I, I overall like the level design uh, with Sonic Tails doesn't change change up too much but I enjoy playing as him uh, Knuckles I do think that treasure hunting was a good idea with Knuckles because with his gliding mechanic it would have been stupid overpowered with like a Sonic kind of stage because you can just fly through all the obstacles and not have to worry about anything. So I think that was a good idea. Um, Amy, I mean it's not the worst thing ever, like Amy's still decently fun to play as I suppose but it doesn't really do too much for me. I don't mind the more the more puzzle related uh, gameplay style and it, that's fine but I just wish that she was more she was a little bit more fast um, and all that but other than that Amy's Amy doesn't really do too much for me like she's definitely one of the weaker gameplay styles in this game. Big goes without saying, he doesn't need to be in this game. Um, I don't, again, I don't mind Big as a character because he's like, I guess good for a little bit of comic relief. But other than that, Big just doesn't really need to be here. Um, Gamma, Gamma is relatively fun to play. Like, I, I enjoy just going, go, blasting through shooting stuff, but the, I don't really care for the time limit. 
uh, even though it, it doesn't really hinder you too much because you do have a lot of time, but I'm still, it, it's still not something I really, I really care for. Um, level design isn't really that exciting besides Hot Shell to where stuff actually um, becomes unique for Gamma. But other than that, everything else we already saw before. Um, the boss fights, as we saw, were pathetic. And yeah, Gamma, in general, it's the gameplay is fine, but the level design just doesn't do a lot for me. Um, as it, when it comes to like story, uh, I mean, it's decent for a first attempt, like, there was a lot going on, but when it comes to, like, actually trying to connect the storyline together, it's just a complete mess, really, like, it's really hard to figure out what happens when, like, when you saw with Gamma, um, like, when did he jump off, like, jump to, uh, that, uh, the Angel Island, and with Knuckles there, like, when, when did that happen, but... Yeah, individually, the stories are fine, but if you're, like, trying to connect them all together, it's just a complete mess. Um, and yeah, I do like all these little thin, uh, pictures and all that. But yeah, uh, what is it, what else? Um, the, um, the music's phenomenal in this game. Like, it's not my favourite soundtrack in the series, but it's definitely up there as one of the, one of the better Sonic soundtracks. Um, like, there's a lot of variety, a lot of the tracks are really catchy to listen to, and it's just a great soundtrack overall, there's just so many different genres of music here, and, I mean, yeah, it's just a great soundtrack overall. Uh, you have all the different vocal themes, It Doesn't Matter, Believe In Myself, Open Your Heart, all that good stuff, and, I mean, there's just, in terms of music, there's just so much variety here. And I guess I'll just go with Knuckles, because there is one little power-up I did miss with Knuckles, if you remember. 